Only in Jackson do you get people get excited about a mountain lion and come early in the morning when it's super cold just to admire the cat's beauty. So it's currently five degrees outside and we are standing around looking at a mountain lion that is hidden in some trees, just laying around, poking its head up, waiting for some cool action. It's cold outside. <laughs> Photographers, filmmakers, and wildlife watchers alike all wait patiently in the cold for some lion action. An early rise can often result in incredible animal action, but will this be the case? The only way to find out is to sit and wait as our toes slowly go numb. Here comes the sun, do, 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 do. here comes the sun, let it warm up. As of right now, the most exciting thing is the approaching sunlight. Come on sun, rise sun, rise! Sunlight on the hillside. Well, I saw your video. Almost you down here among all great. the photographers. Which will be great when it does hit, because it'll be warmer. Right. Maybe. As time passes, more and more folks surround the sidewalk for an opportunity to view this rare sighting. When a lion comes to town, oftentimes people freak out. Hide your dogs, hide your kids, hide your wife. But here in Jackson, the mountain lion is a celebrity on the hillside. Yeah, kitty yum, look at those teeth. Man, it's cold outside. <laughs> I am shivering. I've been standing outside for over four hours watching this mountain lion and it just continued to lay around beneath the tree. No action. It moved its head a little bit, but it did not come out. And my toes are cold and numb. My entire foot is numb right now. Like, I can't feel anything. It all hurts. Oh, yeah. Sounds counterintuitive. Can't feel anything, but it all hurts. How's that work? Oh, well, it works for my case. It was really cool to be able to watch and see a mountain lion. I may come back later and see if I could get any good shots of her or if there's any action that occurs, but who knows. After a work meeting, I rushed back to the scene to continue watching the gorgeous cat. As you can tell, the warmer afternoon attracted more folks hoping to catch a glimpse of this beautiful feline. It's currently 3.30 p.m., a lot warmer than it was this morning. Just got back, and as you can see, the population of people has increased. Jackson Hole Celebrity, right up there. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Just two days before this vlog, the mountain lion was spotted on this hillside. The reason this kitty decided to visit Jackson, Wyoming is because along these slopes are a bunch of mule deer. Well, one of those mule deer became dinner for this mountain lion. Just below the tree in which it rests is a carcass that is currently buried underneath the snow. So all of us photographers and filmmakers and wildlife watchers all wait patiently hoping that this cougar will come down the hillside to feed on this carcass. Will it? Well, only time will tell. Either way, this is an incredible opportunity to see this majestic creature. A once in a lifetime opportunity to get a glimpse of such a rare and elusive sighting. You gotta love mountain lions. So it's almost 5.30. And these are the remaining folks that are still out here waiting for something epic to happen with this mountain lion. But all we got is it just lying down up there in the tree. Not doing anything. Yay! This is so much fun sitting patiently waiting for action in this cold winter weather here in Wyoming. Life is great. Alright, it's now dark outside. Visibility is to a minimum, so I can't see the line anymore. So I'm gonna call it a day and head back home 
Sadly, I won't be out for a couple more days because the next two days I'll be leading a Yellowstone tour, a Yellowstone snow coach tour. But hopefully the cat is still around Monday. We'll see. If it is, I'll be back. After two days of guiding in Yellowstone National Park, I finally had the opportunity to once again return and watch the mountain lion. Sadly, I have learned that early that morning, the mountain lion was spotted disappearing over the ridge. Either way, it was a great opportunity to see this beautiful cat, making it the second mountain lion I've ever seen in the wild. If you enjoy this vlog and want to see more videos by me, Trevor LeClaire, here on Trekking with Trevor, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you're up to date on future videos about wildlife and adventures. Thank you for joining me as we explore and discover the beauty of nature. And I'll see you next time here on Trekking with Trevor.